Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to IDB. In this video, I'm showing you all of iOS 16's intelligence-based features. So this year with iOS 16, it just feels like our devices are getting a lot smarter. And I'm going to show you all of the new intelligence features in iOS 16. So first up is live text in video. So if I open up Safari here, I have a YouTube video. Now it only works if you go into full screen like this. So first up is you're just able to select any of the text on the screen. So it's obviously easier if you have the video paused. So you can see here, I have text up here on the top left. So if I wanted to copy this text that says introduction to Xcode, all I have to do is just like any text on my device, I can press and hold. And then as you can see, I can select any text I want just like this. It's really easy. There also is another way to do this. So if you are in the video player and you're in landscape mode, you can see when you tap on the screen, there also is an icon down here for live text. So if I click on this, as you can see, we now get a button at the bottom left that says copy all. So it's really easy to copy all the text that is playing in a video. So the next intelligence based feature is inside the camera and the camera is now able to do currency conversion and translation from other languages. So if I open up the camera here, I have a piece of paper with 25 euros written on it. So if I aim my camera at the currency, you can see there's an icon at the bottom right of my camera that appears. And if I click that, you can see it's able to pick out the currency right there. And now if I want to convert this into my currency, in this case, I'm in Canada, I can click this on the bottom left. And then as you can see here, it converts it into Canadian dollars. And I also have the option to copy that if I want as well. So like I said, it also works with translation in other languages. So I have some French writing right here. Now, if I aim my camera at this text, as you can see, live text is able to pull it out. So if I click that button right there, it pulls it out just like that. And then on the bottom left, just like with the currency, I'm able to click translate. And then as you can see, it translates it into English and it does it right on top of the original text, which is really cool. And we also get some of these conversion features inside of messages as well. So if I open iMessage, as you can see, when I send a temperature or a time zone, it is now underlined. So if I click on the temperature, as you can see, it automatically converts that Fahrenheit temperature into Celsius and Kelvin. And if I want to copy that to my clipboard, all I have to do is tap it just like that. And it also works for time zones as well. So as you can see here, if I click where it says 7 p.m. Eastern, it converts it into my time zone here in Edmonton. And it also gives me the option to create a new event inside of calendar. So these intelligence features also extend into the photos application. So if you want to remove a subject from the background, you're now able to do this really easily in iOS 16. So all you have to do is press and hold on the subject of the photo. And as you can see, the system has automatically detected the subject and removed it from the background. So from here, you can copy or share it. So if I click on copy, I can jump into the messages application and I can paste it just like this. So as you can see, it pastes it as a PNG image and it also works with drag and drop as well. So if you select the subject, you're able to drag it anywhere throughout the system. So this is really, really cool. And what's really cool about this is you're not limited to just photos in your library. You can also do this on Safari, for example. So I have an image here of a pineapple. Now, if I press and hold on the photo, you can see I have the option to copy subject. So if I click on copy, the system is going to, again, try to pull it off of the background and then I can paste it anywhere just like this, as you can see. So one more intelligence based feature that a colleague of mine here at IDB found is if you are awake and using your device, but you have an alarm set for a little bit in the future, your device will actually ask you if you want to turn off your alarm so it won't bug you. So as you can see here, it says it looks like you're awake. Would you like to turn off your alarm? So it's really nice that the device now does this and then you won't be annoyed with an alarm if you are awake. So as you've been able to see in this video, iOS 16 is very, very smart now, whether it's live text in video or taking the subject off of the background in the photo or all of the translation and conversion features inside of camera. It just feels like iOS 16 is so smart now and it just feels like it's miles ahead of every other operating system. So I want you guys to tell me in the comments what your favorite feature was I covered in this video. If you found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you in the next video.